Hey everybody, this is Editing Letta, is what I'm going to call myself at this moment. Um, now that I'm editing this video, I realized I never created an intro, and I also never showed a before picture before my surgery of the nodules on my neck, so I will actually include those videos, well, pictures right here, because this is the whole reason why I'm having surgery. Um, I found the nodules back in 2015 through an appointment with my OBGYN. And um, ever since then, I've had them, and they eventually just grew to the point that they were interfering with my breathing, um, my sleeping, a lot of other issues. Um, be sure there will be a part two. There will be a part two to this actual video itself. Um, this is just the, the first week of my surgery, an actual surgery day. Um, I will do a part two video, just going way more detail of what, what I was going through, like the process of finding out. Um, the testings I went through, the ultrasounds I went through, and what led me up to actually deciding to have surgery. So be sure to subscribe to my channel, um, like this video, comment down below if you're having surgery, um, turn on all notifications so you'll actually be notified for my part two of this video, and don't be alarmed because I do have braces now, and this video was supposed to be edited and put up before I got braces, so it's, it's gonna be a different me. <laughs> But yeah, um, I just wanted to put this in here because it was not in the video at all, which was the main purpose of the video. And also, um, since I did not create an intro, my video is actually starting with my pre-ops uh, before surgery. I literally had to go to the hospital or my doctor's office is and it's all in the hospital. It's all in like one area. And I had to take a COVID test, which was negative. Um, and I also picked up a like a pre-op kit. It included the body wipes, uh, pre-op instructions of eating and drinking, um, a carbohydrate drink, and some other things. I actually include what's in the box later in this video. I just wanted to put that out there because it just starts off with me <laughs> going to the doctor's office. So yeah, uh, yeah, that happened. But um, thank you guys for sticking around. Just pass these couple of minutes of me yapping. <laughs> Um, just be sure to like this video, watch it all the way through, let me know how you feel, let me know if you were having surgery, what brought you here to this video in general, if you know me personally, if you don't know me yet, hi, I'm Pauletta, but, um, thank you guys, and bye! You say you're special, one of a kind, one of the better boys I'm on your level, that's what you say But all I hear is noise, I don't have time for Trying my luck, I've been too hurt before You're not that special, just give it up I think I've had enough I'm too busy loving my friends I ain't got no love to spare for you I'ma be that girl to the end It don't really matter you do guess i have to tell you again cause you haven't got the news but you really need to understand that i don't wanna be your got this box when I um, took my COVID test and it says kit for all surgery except um, c-sections has beverage instructions for pre-op um, and instructions for my surgery and cloth preparation so let's see I like doing it but I don't really need anything so um, got this And I have preparation for my surgery. Um, you may eat food after eight hours, start drinking carbohydrate drink. That's this. Um, recommended by your surgeon two hours before scheduled arrival time. So I arrive at eight o'clock, so I have to 
um, drink it before two hours, so that was like 5.30. I can drink clear liquids up to two hours before surgery. Um, quit smoking, let's see. I prepare for your skin, prevent for infection. Beginning one week before, do not shave or wax your legs and your arms. Your, oh, did I wax? I didn't, I don't wax, I, I, no. <laughs> These are the wipes. Um, let's put this right here. And it says, helps reduce bacteria that can potentially cause skin infection for preparation of skin prior to surgery. So that's the importance of the wipes. Uh, it is, 12.05 at midnight, so can I eat anything now? I actually did have some McDonald's. So, yeah. I will let you know what's up next. So it's currently 2 a.m. now, and I just took my shower. Put no lotion on, no deodorant, none of that. I got about 30 more minutes to go, and then I can wipe myself down with the wipes. I'm also going to put the pre-op um, drink in the fridge, so it'll actually be cold when I have to drink it later. I am tired. I am slightly nervous. Um, just tired. And then can we see my baby? He's at my sister's right now, but that's my main concern. Just being able to wake up and see my son. So, bye y'all. You'll find someone, someone who wants you back, but that is not me. So give it up, haven't you had enough? I'm too busy loving my friends. I ain't got no love to spare for you. I'ma be that girl to the end. It don't really matter. Guess I have to tell you again Cause you haven't got the news Or you really need to understand That I don't wanna be your girlfriend, girlfriend No, I don't wanna be your girlfriend Quick note, I thought this would be like sugary Like when um, you're pregnant and you need to take that test But it just tastes like watered down Gatorade So I don't have to easily chug it. I was using a straw, but I don't feel like grabbing one. The way it is, like 5:35 or something. My time was ahead on the head on the microwave. Going back to sleep. I'm going to sleep until um,
I've been home for about five hours now. Just been sleeping and uh, my voice is like real raspy and it hurts when I swallow. what we're looking like um everything else like i feel decently normal i randomly have like sticky stuff on me from everything you know when i blink like it gets attached probably because i like take my eyes shut but um one thing is that my iv stopped dripping while i was under so they ended up putting iv in my foot so like, I put a clip of just, it wrapped up, but like when I woke up, I couldn't figure out what was on my foot and couldn't find out it was just an IV. But um, I've had one can of soup today so far. It took me about separate, like three separate times waking up eating at it till I finished. I have to, you know, eat to take my medication, so. Didn't want to do that on an empty stomach. Yeah. Um, it just really hurts when I swallow. And I find that like, the tip of my tongue is like tingly, kind of numb. So I don't know what that's about. But I'll be able to take these off in, I think, three days, this patch off, but then still have whatever it looks like under, which I have no idea. So I'll probably check in with you guys tomorrow. Or maybe the day I take off the packaging. For the most part, my fear was like my voice would change. But other than it sounding like raspy, I still sound like myself. So yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So, it's officially like, I guess, day one post-op. Um, I've had Jamba Juice, I've had so far two, I mean, two cans of, um, soups, mainly water, and one Gatorade, so, yeah, um, I pretty much just take my medicine on time, so I don't feel much pain, I guess, and, um, just thirsty, throat's still hurting, of course, um, the tip of my tongue isn't like numb feeling anymore. I don't know if I mentioned that yesterday, but that's gone. And, um, yeah. That's what we're looking like here. It's starting to like itch like around here. So I got so I could take it off tomorrow, but I might take it off Monday because I'm scary. <laughs> I can't laugh. That's my laugh. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, it's also when I can shower, I believe, when I take this off. Or I could probably shower now, and I'm just scared. So, yeah. Um, that's it for today. Um, I'll at least change my clothes today or something. Because, yeah. Um, all right, guys. Uh, if you haven't done this already, please subscribe. Uh, like this video. Um, let me know if you're having the surgery. If I've had the surgery before. Or just here because you're a subscriber and you watch all my videos. Bye. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is that um, they kept like the heart, the blood pressure thing on me when I was out of the surgery. And uh, my arm, I kept like just putting my arm over me like this and then so every time the monitor the blood pressure thing went off it would start over because it didn't get a full <coughs> it didn't get a full reading so they would free squeeze my arm until I got a good reading so I got these marks my arm from it um, and this is now bruised too so yeah I'm gonna go lay back down now all right bye
so um, brush my teeth because they say brush your teeth more often for to not get an infection don't know how that will work but anyways just brush my teeth I took a shower um, just to feel very tired and um, my voice is getting like a little less raspy but I'm also really not sounding like my original self which is odd because I know there was a chance I'll sound different so I'm hoping that my voice will just come through and be normal so yeah um, I don't know if I'm really swollen but for the most part anytime I'm laying down or I'm sleeping I have the like an ice pack thing they give me that you fill up with ice from the freezer and I usually have it on my neck yeah so. not much else to say it is I don't even put today Today is Saturday it's Saturday night I think it's like 11 something right now um, so yeah, it's just how I'm looking. Um, I'm pretty sure that's swollen. Is my double chin that big normally? I don't know. But I don't like how, like, I can't, like, lift my head up. Like, the way they put this on is, like, I kind of have to leave my head, like, forward down like this. But... Um, not much pain. Got some scratches here. Don't know what that's from. Um, I got the sticky like tape stuff off my stomach when I took a shower. From like all the monitors and things. Um, yeah, that's it. So, bye. So this is like the ice pack thing they gave me. So, I just put the ice cubes in there. And then you see it all. So I just put it around my neck. So, put ice in it. And then I go and lay down. I just have it around my neck like this. So, it's supposed to help with the swelling and stuff. Like, for the most part, I don't know if I'm swollen or not, but I just leave ice on it. <laughs> I just leave ice on it when I'm laying down and stuff. So, yeah, plus it feels good. I'm gonna go lay down and probably go back to sleep now. And it's probably like the longest, the longest like period I've been awake. I haven't taken um my thyroid medicine yet, but it's six in the morning. But I ate like a sandwich not so long ago, so I'm probably wait a while. <laughs> yeah. It, like okay, we yawn right. <laughs> but, all right, guys, I'm going to lay down and get some rest. Bye. All right, so here we are. Um, January 22nd, I had my thyroid surgery on January 20th. Today is the day I am able to remove this bonding and see what it'll look like. start
guess I should do like a warning moment that's finally going to come off. So if you get cringy or disgusted of wounds, scars, I have no idea what it's going to look like. But I don't even know why I'm really crying. <laughs> so, uh, this is your time to skip ahead. Um, I will do a cut, say a timestamp or whatever, um, to look back, I don't know. I guess I won't need a timestamp because I'm taking it off, so. It's what it's looking like. don't know if it's supposed to look that color or not, so I'm just going to take a picture and email it to my surgeon just to be sure if it's okay. This is where we are. surgeon he removed the suture like the string that was there and he removed like two pieces of the tape or three like tape pieces or whatever um <clears throat> i also got um the um the lab work that came from my nodules that were in my neck um i got them tested before they were benign and they still are benign now well, were, I guess, because they're no longer in my neck. But, um, yeah, so they were non-cancerous. But they actually have, like, the measurements of, like, the bigger ones. Um, let's see where it goes. Um, this is for the right side. Um, the thyroid is sectioned to reveal multi-nodules appearance. The nodules are tan brown, soft and glistening, measuring up to 4.5 centimeters in greatest dimension, occupying 95% of the thyroid. Um, so that is the one on the right side. And on the left side, it says, where is it? Uh... Da, 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 da. Second, oh, the thyroid. <clears throat> this is for the left side. The thyroid is sectionally revealed dominant lob 
lo lobulated <laughs> glistening nodules measuring 5.5 times 4.5 times 3.4 centimeters. I don't, I don't wish I had a ruler. But um, no matter what, more than one centimeter is big, right? Um, and it's covering, occupying greater than 95% of the thyroid on the left side. So that's why, like, I just could not breathe well. Um, but, like, I can totally breathe so much better now compared to before. Um, but now I'm just, like, scared of, like, laying down at this point just because this. But <clears throat> I never, like, really laid down flat in a very long time. So I'm actually excited for that. But, um, yeah, so it's been today's five days post-op since my surgery and uh, my voice is almost back kind of but um the surgeon said my voice sounds great it's like projecting very well he said my um incision looks good too so i'm healing good i am going to eat and lay down so bye what you need from me need your love on me put your love The clock and rewind. Hey everyone, so a quick update. It is January 31st and I removed the um, strips yesterday. Um, I have like a little bit of gappage, like, like a little that's not fully like, of course, scabbed up yet, but uh, my surgeon said wait two weeks and then if it still looks like this to contact him but other than that like i'm okay um i think the last video i made was the emotional one i really don't remember i don't remember but um yeah so today makes let's say what day of the week is today tuesday tuesday so we are one weekend so we are 11 days post-op I think but um yeah so this is how we're looking um quick update like how I'm feeling my voice is cl close but still fully not there like normal I don't know if this is gonna be my normal voice we still have to just wait and see um <clears throat> I'm able to lay on my back now I'm, like flat because before I always had to stay propped up because like I just had issues breathing um, I can lay on my sides, both sides, um, feeling good with breathing. It doesn't feel like I'm suffocating at all like before. Um, I am extremely tired. So tired. Um, just hopefully once my body fully gets used to the medication and maybe I need a different dosage down the road. Um, but like I'm tired, exhausted most of the time. Um, what else is there? Um... trying to think like what else is there i know i took some notes but i don't have my um ipad out but, um that is pretty much it i believe i started eating normal after some days after um like once i was able to once my throat didn't feel like i was falling down glass i was eating normal food i have actually lost six pounds since surgery um not much of my eating habits has changed <laughs> so but I know one of my um um girls I used to go to school with like let me know her thyroid issues and um ways of her eating helped her out with her um dosage and her medication and things so we will see after what my first blood work looks like and see what ways I could probably have to change it or maybe my body's working just fine with it we shall see but she did mention that I'll be tired um I will have a lot of dry skin which, uh, hold on. Don't want to show you too much cleavage. But, like, don't know if the phone is picking up, like, this patch. But that is dry. And then, like, like I have, like, patches of, like, dry skin now. Um, I even have, like, a couple on my arm. So, um, I've been drinking a lot of water. So, I know that's not the issue. So, maybe it's just a reaction to the medication. My, my hormones just getting used to things. Uh, my face... 
is looking a little rough um i mean i don't have the best skin but this isn't like my normal skin like um acne pimple type thing um what else is there um uh, i believe that's it my main complaint is that i am tired so tired i also need to get a routine on when i'm going to take my medication um I've kind of been trying to take it around like six in the evening only because that's like gonna work off my work schedule because I'll like sleep mostly during the day because I work at night and I most likely take my medication before I go to work so it has to be on an empty stomach um, <clears throat> I have to if I ate before I can't take my medication till four hours after I ate or 30 minutes before I eat so that's why I'm like I've been sleeping all day gonna head to work might as well take it then um i depends what i eat at work that's the thing too um i haven't really been that hungry so i don't know what that is if medication makes me less hungry or just i'm so tired i'm that's probably why i'm also tired because i really don't eat that much right now but i'm still eating though like when i eat i eat so i don't know it's hard to explain but um yeah my next appointment is supposed to be i think five to six weeks out um, just check my blood work and see where my levels are and if my dosage needs to be changed. Other than that, um, I'm alright. Uh, I'm no longer emotional about it and it, <clears throat> it's crazy because like, because he told me he wanted to put it in, like, in my natural like neck crease. So like, if I look at you straight head, you really don't see it. Like, you, of course you can see like the scabbing and like the bruising a little bit, a little bit of bruising of it, but if that scabbing was not there it falls like see it falls like super good in that like line or he had this option but i guess he didn't want to go up there all right still got some stickiness from the tape or whatever but um yeah i'm feeling good now i'm feeling so good about it like when i took that off it was just like the whole i realized it was emotional because it's just it Taking it off and being able to see it is something that I realized that what I went through was major. Like, that was some serious... I was literally, like, on a breathing machine. I wasn't even breathing myself, you know? Like, the anesthesia was just... It, it was something I never experienced. And it was more of a reality check opening it up and seeing, like, you did that. Like, you went through that and you woke up because that was my biggest fear. So, um, yeah, so... I'm no longer emotional about it. Uh, when I did take the taping off, I dang near almost passed out. Because <laughs> if you know me, it wasn't bleeding, but like, just opening a wound? I don't know. Something like that, like, because I can't really, like, deal with blood. So, like, I wasn't bleeding, obviously. But, I don't know. Your girl almost passed out just <laughs> taking that tape off. But, um, yeah. That's about it for my update today. Um, haven't done much today. Just got back home went around with my mom around town a little bit i went to the dentist um your girl's gonna be getting a braces so you'll be seeing that um uploaded as well i don't know when i'm gonna even upload this because i'm horrible at editing videos i'll make videos just don't edit them you would hear that in a lot of my videos my um, uploads i've already done but um i guess i'll check back in maybe after my blood work just to do an update on that uh, maybe update if I've lost any more weight as well. Um, I think I'm just probably going to make all of this footage from my um, surgery just one video and not make multiple videos. So this likely won't be out till mid February, maybe. I at least want to fin finish it before I get my braces. So I'll keep you guys updated when anything um, changes. Bye. Love you guys. Oh wait, forgot. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe, like this video, comment down below. If you have any thyroid concerns, of course I'm not a professional, but at least let's tell you my experience and what I went through or what others have told me as well. Um, if you just need support because you're going to be going through surgery, a full um, thyroidectomy or a partial, um, reach out to me. I'm here to support you as well, which is why I'm making this video. But alright guys, bye! Your